Today I have an Amazon package and it is the LG Tone NP3 headset and it is a neckband style Bluetooth headset. So let's open it up and talk about it. Hi everyone, it's Carrie on Accessibility and I talk about accessibility and technology. So I just love technology and I love Amazon and getting things on Amazon. Uh, my old LG headset is now dead. So I wanted to try the LG Tone MP3. Let's go ahead and unbox it. So I've got my pink knife, of course, because you know, that's just, just me, pink. I always have to have pink. And I'm just gonna rip into it. I tell you, one thing about being a YouTuber, it's like I have to wait to be able to film before I can open all these fun little toys that I get. <laughs> Which is a good and a bad thing, because it's good because I have video content, right? But I'm not the most patient person in the world. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna put that box away. And here it is. In a lot of unboxing videos, they read the box and what's on it. So let me go ahead and do that really quick, except I'm gonna have Lookout do it for me. Too far, move club hold still. TMLG tone style premium Bluetooth registered headset E98 one retractable earbuds 22 hours playtime two vibration on call big buttons for simple operation TONE NP3. Okay, there we go. That did pretty decently. I'm still waiting for OCR and all this tech to get better so that it can do a better job with that. The reason I got this is because it has 22 hours of battery and I am not an audiophile. So if you are, you know, just go ahead. You can click away, go find some other headset because I don't think these are like the highest quality audio. I really prefer neck band headsets. I know people think it's strange since we have like the Pixel Buds and the Apple AirPods and everything and it's just like right in your ear. But the thing is, I lose everything. <laughs> I have Pixel Buds and I lose them constantly. And then I forget that I lost them and they already disconnect and it's like, you, it's just a mess. I really like the neckband style and especially if they're retractable because for me, I have a six year old. I need to be aware of my surrounding, like all these little tiny earbuds that go in your ear. I feel like it blocks me from the outside world. So I usually just use like one side of the headset and like stick it in my ear and then maybe I'll like rotate to the other ear. Sometimes if my son is sleeping or he's like really busy doing something then I'll like be comfortable enough to like put two in my ears but like most of the time there's only one so that I can be aware of the world around me and I've tried bone conduction headphones and they are just really uncomfortable. Hence I got these. So let's go ahead and open them up. Hopefully these are good. I really like the 22 hours battery too. I don't know how accurate that is, but even if it's not all that accurate, even if it's only 15, it'll be great. I just have trouble remembering to charge every device. There's just so many. If only everything w had wireless charging. Like maybe if they could charge by Wi-Fi. Okay, so there's the box and here it is. All it is, there's a, a box in the middle and um, the headset right here. So here they are. There's some plastic around it. Okay, that's interesting. I'm not sure what that is for. And here it is. It goes around your neck. And there are, oh wow, I really like this. Okay, cool. There's some texture on here on the ends. Um, there's a plus and a minus. Oh, wow, and it can really feel it. Okay, they're not very clicky buttons. They do have a little bit of a click, but definitely less clicky than my old ones. But I just love that it has a plus and a minus. Usually it's just like a button. And then, let's see, you can pull out the headsets or the earbuds. And then if you pull all the way to the end, they will retract. On the other side, there is just one circular button. 
That's kind of really nice. It also has dual microphones, which hopefully will make it sound better. The uh, on and off switch looks like it is in the inside part. So kind of like if it was a necklace in like the inner part of the necklace on the left side. There's also a little charging cap and oh, it's actually a little easier to feel it. It's on the outside on the left side and you just put your fingernail in there and there is the charging port. In this little white box came this little Ziploc and inside the Ziploc looks like there's some paperwork, a USB charging cable, which I am really happy that it is USB-C. Yay! Everything needs to have USB-C. Come on, Apple! And they also have these, which are extra silicone tips of different sizes. Carrie from the future here. It's been a couple of days and I have been using these Bluetooth headphones for a while now and I think it's great. It's fantastic for my needs. It's great for listening for music for me. Uh, again, I am not a stickler for audio, so I think it's just fine for me and what I need. Talkback sounds fine for me and I just am really enjoying having a lot of battery life. I haven't even had to charge these since I got it. It's been about one, two, three, four days. I've been using them for a couple hours here and there. I started out with, I think, 86% battery and I am only at 49. The app is pretty accessible. You can control some equalizer settings, look at your user manual. You can also control your software updates and voice alert settings, as well as vibration alert settings, which is a pretty cool feature if you want it to tell you all your different notifications. The only problem is the user manual section it's not very accessible. It'll tell you what to press once or twice or hold down, but it won't tell you which button you're supposed to do that with. Um, so I just had to use magnification to try to figure that out. And I did send a, an email to LG to try to see if they can fix that really quickly. The circle button, if you press it once, it can either answer a call if it's coming through, pause or play, and if you double press it, you can use a voice assistant. If you press and hold the plus button, it will turn the vibration on or off because this whole thing can vibrate. If you're playing music, if you press and hold the plus, it will go to the next track, press and hold the minus, it will go to the previous track. If you're in a call, you can use the circle button to hang up, press and hold that plus button to change the audio path. If you press and hold the minus while it's ringing, it will stop the vibration. If you're in the middle of a call, it can mute or unmute your microphone. The microphone quality, the call quality is pretty good. My sister told me that I sound okay. One thing that it doesn't have is noise cancellation for the microphone, which I really wish it had because if you're washing dishes or cleaning or banging things around, the person on the other side can really hear that. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this purchase and yeah, I'm just glad that I don't have to charge it every night. If you're interested in these, I will leave an Amazon affiliate link down in the description and in the pinned comment. I just bought them myself. This is not sponsored or anything. I bought it on Amazon for $69.99, I believe. Just around there. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one all these like little tiny Bluetooth head buds, earbuds, headbuds, <laughs> and I cannot lose these. Well, I can, actually, I can still lose them, <laughs> but it's harder. It's much harder to lose these than my Pixel Buds.